We're in. Right. We're in. Hello. Hello. We're down a mic. It's us too. We're here to help you with your fitness business. And you know that as well because the same people watch this all the time. So I don't need to keep repeating myself because there's, yeah. no, there's no new people watching I'm it. Because you haven't shared it yet with anyone. Yeah. You haven't shared it yet. So go share it around. Yeah. Please. Like, That's um, it. That's what we need to do at the beginning. Yeah. If you subscribe. If you like this video, hit subscribe. Always hit subscribe. Hit it. Yeah. If we get a thousand likes, he'll do one naked. Literally. I, I literally will. Because that will never happen. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I <laughs> Please will, make it happen now. I would literally sit here with the cock out. Um, yeah. and that wouldn't get on YouTube though, would it? That then, unfortunately, wouldn't it? I reckon we'd have to. We'd have to. We'd pixelate it. We'd pixelate just it. with one pixel. It'd, <laughs> yeah, just be, it'd just be the one pixel. Yeah, no, I think we could upload it to YouTube, and they wouldn't even notice anything. They no, wouldn't no. notice a cock. You no. know, the AI wouldn't pick it up. No, no it like, wouldn't. It wouldn't. They just go female it. nudity, wouldn't it? Vagina. Yeah, no, no vaginas loud. No, it's like an action man. It's just smooth. <laughs> smooth yeah. yeah. So. Oh dear. So um. Yeah. Saying, saying it is smooth. I got one of those manscape manscaper things. Oh yeah, I've had one. Good night. Uh, have you come on? Yeah. Oh, have you? Yeah, you've yeah. you had, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Smooth, yeah, it's smooth, yeah. Smooth, yeah. yeah. You've had your hair cut, haven't you? Yeah. 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 I, I've had mine done as well yeah. today. Just, today. Just for the YouTube videos, mate. Is it? Yeah, yeah it's Friday. I've done on Friday. No, yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Yesterday. Yeah, I got Yeah, okay. I, got, I got one. I finally got sucked in by the marketing. I was like, yeah, I don't know what. I'm going to get one. They're quite good, aren't they? Yeah. There you go for all the men out there. Yeah, they're good. They this good. is non-sponsored. We love it, though, if you want to if you want to sponsor us. Would we, though? Because we've already got one. What are they going to send us? Well, money. It will take money <laughs> of anyone. Take money any day. Yeah, of anyone. Any day of the week, you need some. I yeah, I got one of those. Um, anyway, so yeah, we're here to help you in any like, way. In any way yeah. we can. So yeah. like, like, share, like, and subscribe. Share and subscribe. All that sort of stuff. No, no, genuinely do subscribe because it would help us. Um, to be fair, I don't know how or why, but it would. I think so. Apparently, yeah. we haven't put any ads on these yet. So you notice that because so we actually have an ad, on our account. We can put ads on. Don't worry about it. But I'm of the opinion that I don't like watching videos of ads on. And the amount of money we would make off the ads would probably buy, I reckon in a year, about two bottles of water. So it seems a bit pointless to piss you off, do you know, yeah. and, and put it on. But if we get enough likes and subscribes and views, we will put the ads back on so we can make some money off it. So yeah. do us a favour. Get YouTube Premium though. Definitely get that. It's, it's get that. godsend, isn't it? Fifteen ninety nine. YouTube, YouTube, can they sponsor us? YouTube? I don't know. Oh, I'm giving them a big up here. Yeah. Like, Those 250 people are definitely going to get it. Yeah. So uh, YouTube Premium is really good. Yeah. Like you can you can come out you can come out of YouTube and it still keeps playing, which is quite good. Because if you're one of those people who's been moaning that this isn't on audio on on Spotify, if you'd have had YouTube Premium, you yeah. could have just put it on YouTube. It is basically and put it podcast, then, isn't it? So. It is basically a podcast. But you know, yeah. there you go. That's fine. Um, um, today we are going to talk about shady shit we've heard in the fitness industry. Yeah, so uh, no, bad. the business mentorship space. In oh, fitness. all sorts of stuff going on. Oh, uh, do you know what? It's like, gossip. Get, get we, a cup of tea. We knew, we knew. I think when getting into this industry, into this part of the industry, should I say? Because obviously, we're, it's the same industry technically. Um, we knew that there was some some shit that went down. We knew that people weren't always honest and all this sort of stuff. But when you hear firsthand some of the things that have happened, it does make you feel a little bit like we have to talk about it because I think a oh. a part of me feels like we owe it to you guys because you may be watching us and other people or think about other mentorships or whatever. And I feel like, you know, you deserve to know that some people are doing this sort of shit out there. Um, and then the second reason is just because I just like to create negative content because people tell us we shouldn't. So. Yeah, that's that's a thing. Like, <laughs> don't go don't go posting negative stuff. Just post positive content, and yeah, that works because the whole world would work really well if that was the case, wouldn't yeah. it? I yeah. fucking hate that. You will have just seen ignore this. Putin. It's fine. You will have they will, they will have seen this. Like you will have, you will have seen this, right? You will have you will have seen this off numerous people, and um, like guys who slag, uh, like guys who who poke fun or slag slag off the fitness industry. I hate us. Um, yeah, it's <laughs> just, it's, just it's name us, us next time but, but one that's calling us out so straight away that's negative against us but it's fine you know yeah. um, straight away but anyway that that it just looks bitter and that you should never put out content that's negative um, and it is should it should just come from a place of positivity well that would be all well and good if you weren't if you weren't doing why keto is shit or why Slimming World is crap I, like I, that is what content I, is I just I just hate I just it, it, it just shows how stupid some people are when they say that because it's kind of like okay so if I saw someone just dump a puppy in a plastic bag next to a bin on the road don't go up to them and be like what the fuck are you doing mate why would we no, do it again yeah no be positive oh he probably wants to be there probably probably wants to be there and just laid, laid on the side of the street no again if you saw a bloke hitting a woman walking down the street oh, she probably deserved it well yeah. no you got you do something Women about it are... like 
yeah, well, there you go. But like, it just it just blows my mind that that is an argument these days, and it's just it's to, to, to try and do what? It's only an argument because now they're the target. That's the thing. Don't like it when she's under the foot. Yeah, of co- yeah. course. Like, it's only an argument now because, like, like I'm saying before, like back in the day when they were coaches themselves, they will have been anti keto or anti yeah. this or why um, meal uh, plans aren't great. That's all coming at something from a anti point of view. Yeah. Like that's all it is. It's hero villain marketing. It's showing you. It's showing you why something isn't uh, acceptable, correct, so on and so forth, for the mm. greater good. Because yeah. us calling something out doesn't directly make us any money, no. but lying about things does make them money. Like yeah. think about think about it like that. So us calling out bullshit doesn't actually. We don't need like for what? It's, it's literally it literally comes from a place of passion. Yeah, one hundred percent. Giving a shit. Giving a shit. Where people are coming in and telling us horror stories about about what they've what they've been subjected to. And, and we're not naming so any names. We just yeah. people just know because they've heard the same things. So then all of a sudden it becomes well, okay. People start to know. People get reputation quite rightly. But for the thing is, things. is that because we're not naming any names as well, and the people that get offended, well, if the shoe fits, well, yeah, exactly. Like, if we're say, we all we ever do it, and we're all we've ever done is call out principles. It's why this isn't correct if it's not. And often we will sit and we'll probably say, we can see it from this side, that side, and there's always a gray area, probably a bit of a balance, you know. But the problem is, is that if we are calling something out that is incorrect, and then people are getting offended by it, like, well, we didn't name you specifically, yeah. so you shouldn't be offended then, should you? You shouldn't. But uh, anyway, this has come from... Uh, we, oh, we get sent some stuff, obviously, direct. as you can imagine. Direct from source. Um, I've got a couple as well. I don't let, need to get it up. Let me, I need to get this That's what I, I tell her anyway. I just want to read this, uh, this one out because this was an interesting message I had from someone who... It's not even a client of mine, um, just someone I've been chatting to um, who's been trying to leave mentorship and been told they can't, of course. Who's had that one? It sounds about right. Isn't it? Comment um, below. Yeah. There we go. Comment below if you've ever tried to leave a fitness business mentorship and you can't. And I told you can't, yeah. Um, they told me that they are still in said men- mentorship. And they said that some of the social media assets being shared within the group, obviously, like, you know what that means, right? So, like, templates of things and all that sort of stuff for social media. You know, really generic stuff that's not yours. Um, make it your own. Like, definitely do that. But anyway. Yeah, definitely use the templates of captions. All use the template captions. All of, all of you. All, and this, all of you use the same captions. So this is probably that's what one. they've done. So anyway. Um, so some of the social media assets being shared include details like lying about how long a transformation took. Oh. Sorry, I ruined that. I ruined his big moment. Brilliant. You must have seen that comment. For, for those, that didn't, that, hear, those that didn't hear that, that was some of the social media assets being shared include details like lying about how long a transformation took. Did you just say lying about how long a transformation took? Lying about how long someone's physical transformation took to look better on social media. So you're telling me that a fitness business mentorship in their content that they are giving out they are actively telling people to falsify the length of time that their client transformations are taking. Yes. Correct. So my next point to this is, what do you think they are then doing in their own fitness business mentoring content? If they're telling you (laughs) to lie about your transformations, how can you then believe the efficacy of their testimonials? How do you know that they're not falsified? So this is the this is the thing, right? Look, this is is a hard it's a hard thing to get social proof. Any uh, you know, a lot of people find it hard. Not for us. <laughs> We've got shitloads of it. Yeah, um, too much. But me. people find it hard, and people do find it difficult. But this is where, like like Mike said before, our passion comes from. Is that at no point should you ever, ever falsify how long people's results took or what they achieved and all this sort of stuff. Yes, you can make some stuff look better than others and all this sort of shit, right? Of course you can if you really wanted to. Um, you see it all the time, people doing like um, progress photos and like, oh yeah, but he's like in better lighting in the second picture or whatever. And it's like, well, yeah, that just happens to be the case. Like we didn't make him do that, right? But you know, you do get that sometimes. But literally lying about it is just like, and, and for me, like I said, the point isn't that they're telling their coaches to lie about it. My worry is that there are coaches that are then doing it number one. So what does that say about their ethics of that coach? And they're probably in the right mentorship to be fair, if they're fucking doing it after they've been told to. 
But the second thing is, like I, I keep reiterating, is that if that is the ethical, like, I don't know, boundary moral for compass. that. Yeah, moral compass for that person and that company or whatever it is, that that should tell you everything you need to know about how they market themselves and mm. what they do. And we're really upfront and honest and always transparent with, with everyone. And, and like I said, that's why we do these YouTube videos and all this sort of stuff, right? I just can't believe that this, that that, that mentor and that person doesn't put two and two together and go, I probably shouldn't be doing this because it does show everyone that I'm an absolute fucking dick. Mm. Do you know, like I just find it baffling that they wouldn't just think like, well, what I people do think, think of some me? of them don't give a toss about looking a dick. I'm assuming it's the same person that said, don't bother listening to people's voice notes. Listen to the yeah. first 20 seconds and the last 20 seconds because they'll tell you everything. Pretty well, much, yeah. Except the bulk of it, you know. Yeah. Except the bulk, you know. They'll probably, you'll, you'll get the high and I'll leave it there, but that's fine. Um, yeah, no, it, it's... Um, it's it's obviously unacceptable. It's just it's just blatant lying, and the thing like the thing that just just hits me because we've said this before about when when you get um when you get a, a DM that that's quite obviously a, a salesy marketing spammy DM or whatever, and it's it's cold. Do the podcast? Yeah, yeah, it's cold. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I don't know whether Chris has already asked you. Has he, mess- he, he, he messaged you already yeah, about yeah, podcast? Yeah, yeah, he has. Yeah, you know. Also message my business partner the same couple of pages of thing, but it's fine. Um, that is fine, that is. But um, like when you get that sleazy thing, that, that sleazy DM, you know that if that's how they're doing their own marketing, that's what they're going to get you to do, right? If that's the marketing that they know, the marketing style that they know is cold outreach, sliding into people's DMs, copied and pasted stuff, and it has to be volume, then, that, then, then expect that when you go in. So it literally is the biggest indicator that if they're telling their, I still can't, be, I can't believe it. Dan only told me this on the drive. I can't believe it. I can believe I it. I can't. I can't. Like, so if it, if a progress photo t- took a year and it's going, just say it, just say it's done in 12 weeks so you can sell your program better. <laughs> like, fucking what? But that is the, that is the level that people are prepared to stoop to. And the, but like I said, it's all well and good the mentors are saying it. If the coaches are then doing it, and it could come from a place of desperation. It could come from that sort of place, you know, admittedly. But as you said in the car on the way over, your point was, but that person who's been through it will know. Yeah, the and bit- that's the thing for me that I couldn't live with. Like if I put someone's thing and I tag them in it, right? And I say like, this is John. John achieved this. And, and, I and it's li- a blatant lie. I couldn't lie. live with just fucking lying about anything no. because they all do it. So this is what I mean is that they're telling their coaches to lie. They're actively lying. And I said to Dan, I was like, it would be easy, right? It would be so, so easy for Dan to send me messages, message after message that we could screenshot and put on our social proof. Easy. It would be easy to do it. It's easy to make stuff up. And my concern is that people are doing it. That is, yeah. now that I've heard this, my concern is, is that business mentors are doing that, are creating their own social proof. Like that is the worry. That is a really, really, really worrying thing. It wouldn't surprise me if they are. Like, it w- and, and well, this is the thing, it wouldn't surprise me because we know that, again, we just know the levels people are prepared to stoop to. We've heard the stories. We know the- well, One of them makes up his revenue every yeah. fucking second Thursday. It's something different. It, and but, and it, you know if they're prepared to do that and they don't know these numbers. Like we do it. And we, when we, I think we've only ever once shared something about numbers that we've done before. Mm. And we sat there and calculated and we were like, oh, we can't say it's that much though because of, it doesn't, doesn't, it wasn't over a 14 month period or I can't remember what it was now. We did it 14 months. It was great. That's what it was. It was for our group coaching program. We'd been doing it for 14 months and we worked out the revenue we made from it. It was for um, Adam's talk, the inner circle. Right. And we were a bit like, oh, I don't know what, I don't know if we're okay selling this amount of number, blah, blah, blah. And I think we just said, right, let's just be safe and do 12 months then. So we know we definitely know what it's done in 12. So we use that number and we actually downplayed it, I think, in the numbers. We were like, oh, let's just downplay but it. That's like, just us. That, that's just like. But hey, that's just us. But we should have just made it up though, looking back. Do you know why just not? Just make it up. Just three it million. Out. I made three million. Don't worry. Done it. Three, three million. No, if, you kind of, if you can guess who this is, then we know it's something wrong. How I made one million in my uh, in my fitness business. How I've made two 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 businesses one million, one point five million. What? <laughs> how I made two million in both my fitness businesses. How I've made three million pounds in both of my. And fitness. that was in the space of about eight weeks. That content. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry, sorry. What? Like how? What? Well, last week, literally, like last week, it was two million. So and now it's three. Wait, so you made a million last week. Like you're you're. And it's you'll just, know who that is. Well, it's hopefully just, people. It's just the inflation. You're making it up. Yeah, it's just the inflation of numbers. And, and like we, because we don't talk about money at all, 
It's probably maybe to our detriment to a certain degree, but I also think we get the right type of people in for us, so I don't think it's well, to I our had detriment. A, I, I was I was chatting to one of my um one of my coach clients who we coach every week. Every week. Every week. And uh I was doing a Zoom with him, you know, just hour long Zoom. So Well not uh, not not you personally though, surely it was me VA, personally. Yeah. VA, no? yeah, not my VA, not someone doing sales for me. Wow. Literally the king. The king yeah. in the castle that you can't even touch. Yeah, yeah, just doing just doing it. But anyway, he said, Out of interest, why don't you talk about your revenue. He was like, because I do think it would help you guys. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, yeah, it probably would make us look more credible. Like, but at the same time, like, why, why would we have, to, like, why would we, why would we have to? Like, why would we have to go out and buy things that make us look more credible? Because what about if that's not how we want to live our life? If that's not how we want to go about mm -hmm. things, does it mean that we're any less successful or that the revenue is any lower? You don't, nobody knows that. No one actually knows that. So just be wary of those who put like, who put things out to look more successful. That's who I would be wary of. Wary of. I think as well, like for us, we, again, it comes back to from like the last video, we know who we're trying to reach and who we're trying to market to. And for us, we want to get coaches on board who are passionate, are authentic, do want to help people more than they want to make 10K months. Like I don't want, pe I don't want to do sales calls with people that are just interested in money all the time. I wouldn't connect with them. I wouldn't get on with them. I wouldn't have that level of connection that I have with the coaches that I work with now. So you kind of look at it and go, well, we're doing, we're doing all right. We're doing the right things, which is why I think some people who do want to work with people who have more money do inflate their numbers and they do make it sound better than it is. And they do use total revenue and they do use like the whole amount of money I've ever earned in my life as a, as a number because it's, it's it looks that, more impressive. That is fucking mental. Because that's how they claim, like that's how they think they're getting away with it. But I could say, well, how my dad earns a million pound. Well, it was over forty years mm. lorry driving at twenty five grand a year yeah. on average, which probably not even that, but still, yeah. like it's still a million pounds. Check the maths. Check, check the calculator. <laughs> um, still a million pounds. Um, but but that's not how businesses no. like a, a run. It's just, yeah, and it's just honestly. Maybe one day we'll do like a big reveal. We'll do like an in-person event and we'll do it at that, at that event only. And we'll just like, I don't know, sell tickets for it and be like, right, if anyone wants to come and find out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll pull yeah. it up on a, on a it'd be like It'll be like when. On the computer. Who, who was it? Is it Daft Punk that used to not show their faces? The big reveal. No, or yeah. Banksy. We were as big as Banksy. Well, we are like Banksy, yeah. 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 Um, we're as big as Banksy. People will be wondering. But, uh, but, but, but yeah, look, just be, wa like, be wary about what, what you're seeing. Because we know firsthand that, I mean, at least one person that I can think of straight away, I know for an absolute fact that the numbers are made up. I know for a fact that the numbers are made up. Yeah. Like... For a, for a fact, and this is the, and this this other this other one with the line on the social media transformation is another different one as well. Yeah, just um, one. just different, just different, and I think it it is really important that you guys know you guys know that this stuff happens and all that sort of stuff. What about the other one that's in that one? I just think it's there's another one. So there's another one as well. If we, if we're doing a bit of goss, there's a there's a a girl in one of the mentorships not qualified as a coach, doesn't know how to coach. Um, but being told to charge a thousand pounds for three months up front, um, and she's having to outsource the coaching. Someone's having to write a training plan. She doesn't know how to set calories. She's asking the group, and apparently that's ethical. Like that's yeah. fine. She's got a completely different career altogether. She's not she's not done any qualifications and doesn't know anything. Literally just being sucked into this mentorship, paid paid her fucking whatever ten grand or whatever, and being given the same advice as every other fitness business, yeah. and that's fine. I think I think and that's where you you have to choose someone based on their personality. You can't look at numbers. You can't, you can't do anything when it comes to mentoring. In my opinion, I think if you just get sucked in by numbers all the time, you will get stung Yeah. because people are prepared to lie about it. Mm -hmm. I think you have to align yourself with someone and go, I think the same way as these people. I feel the same way about our industry as these people. I want that. Don't look at someone and go, I want that sort of business or I want to be driving that sort of car. It's wrong, wrong reason to sign up with a mentor, like completely yeah. wrong. And I think that, I'd like to think most people watching this, most people who know us, watch us because they like the way we do things and the way we talk, the way we act, the way we are with with, with people, not because how much money we make. Mm -hmm. And I think that I would encourage anyone to look at every other mentor the same way because I believe that other people use their revenue numbers, their profit numbers, all these sorts of things and lie about them, obviously, because they can't connect with you on a personality level. Mm -hmm. 
because you wouldn't want to work with them on that level. You because they're not that authentic. They are just driven by money. And again, is that going to help you in your business? If they're so driven by money, that's all they talk about. Do you think they're going to put you ahead of their own mm -hmm. things, their own agenda? No, they're not. Do you think we would? Yeah. <laughs> like, because that's our whole thing is like, we treat people well, help them out, and then they'll talk about you highly, and then they speak to another person. Mm -hmm. Another person speaks highly of you. You goes around like that. Yeah, we're probably not going to get the same revenue numbers, although to be fair, we could just lie about it. Um, and some of these other people. But again, that's not been the goal at this stage where we're at. We're six months into this, I think. Some, six months into it, something like that. I don't know. I'm doing that. Maybe a bit more, actually. You know, some of these lot are coming up to, to you know, three years in it. Um, but, four years. And, but you're getting, we're getting people through from said mentorships yeah. and they're being given fuck all. Yeah. I mean, what about, what about Rob? We've just, we got, we got a client, Rob, who's come from a mentorship. Again, paid thousands of pounds up front. Surprise, got nothing back. He's been coaching with us for a month. It's been a bit of a whirlwind, a whirlwind, but you know it, it is what it is. We got we helped him get three hundred and thirty odd people onto a group coaching program within his first month, and he we was were told not to do one, wasn't he? Yeah, he was told not to do one. Yeah, because they don't work. Well, they don't work if you don't do them properly. That's that's one thing. You know, yours will fail and did fail. Oh, oh, oh can we say that? We Just can, did. if the shoe fits. Um, <laughs> if the shoe fits. Um, but yeah, told him not to do one. We just we just added £33,000 on top of his revenue mm. for that seven weeks, which it's running. Like, don't think that there's anything magic. They're selling you the magic, but you've got to, find, you've got to pay your 10 grand to find out what it is. And then you realise that it's absolutely shit, but you're 10 grand down. There's no magic. Believe us. Yeah. We're not the first people anybody comes to, really. We're no, not. We never be will be. Because we don't talk the good game, because we don't show off, basically. But we will be the last people to come to. And I, that sits quite well with me. 